Hello everyone. In this session of pair of linear equations, we'll solve a problem based on the concept where we reduce the different equation to pair of linear equation to get the values of the variables. So here is the question. It says solve for x and y and the equations are 8x minus 9y equals to 6xy and 10x plus 6y equals to 19xy. Let's form proper steps for solving this problem. So start with step number 1. Let's understand what is given in the question and what we need to find. We are given with two equations and we need to find the values of x and y. Let's give numbers to the equation, equation number 1 and equation number 2. Looking at the equations, we can see that they are not linear equations. Let's convert these equations into linear equations. How to do that? We should remember that linear equations should always be in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So here we can see we are having xy terms as well, which is not required. So let's divide the two equations throughout by xy. So it will become 8x by xy, 9y by xy equals to 6xy by xy. This is number 1 and number 2 is 10x upon xy plus 6y upon xy equals to 19xy upon xy. So we can see that x and x cancel, y and y cancel, here both xy's are cancelled. Similarly, x and x cancel, y and y cancel, xy and xy cancel. So this equation becomes 8 upon y minus 9 upon x equals to 6. And second equation becomes 10 upon y plus 6 upon x equals to 19. So this was equation number 1 and this was equation number 2. Let's convert them into linear equations. So we can write these two equations as 8 into 1 by y since it was 8 by y and 9 into 1 by x since it was 9 by x equal to 6. This was equation number 1 and here we can write it as 10 into 1 by y since it was 10 by y plus 6 into 1 by x equals to 19. So this was equation number 2. So as we learned we have to substitute for 1 by y and 1 by x in both the equations. So let's put 1 by x equals to p and 1 by y equals to q in both the equations. Therefore equations will become 8 into 1 by y so 1 by y is q minus 9 into 1 by x so 1 by x is p equals to 6. So this is equation number 1. And equation number 2 is 10 into 1 by y that is q plus 6 into 1 by x that is p equals to 19. This is equation number 2. And these two are linear equations since we are having two variables and their powers are 1. So we can solve them by any method which we have learned in previous sessions. So let's solve them by elimination method. It is purely your wish if you want to solve it by substitution method or cross multiplication method. But for now, let's follow the elimination method. So we are having these two equations 8q minus 9p equals to 6 and 10q plus 6p equals to 19. So if you remember, in elimination method, we have learned that first we need to decide which term we need to eliminate. So here, I have decided to eliminate the term with the variable p and since they have opposite sign here minus and here plus I need to add them and before that I need to make the coefficients of p equal so for that reason I will multiply equation number 1 by 6 and equation number 2 by 9 so this will give us 6 into 8 48 q minus 6 into 9 54 p equals to 6 into 6 so in right hand side it is 36 and now for the second term I have to multiply by this 9 so 9 into 10 it is 9 p plus since here it 
is plus 6 into 9 is 54 P equals to 19 into 9 it is 171 so after this multiplication you can see that terms with variable P are having the same coefficient that is 54 and since we have opposite sign we have to add these two equations to eliminate P so that we will get value for Q so after adding these two terms will get cancelled since it is minus 54P and plus 54P and Q terms are added since they are both positive it will give us 138 they are cancelled so here it will be 0 here it is equals to and here we will get 207 36 plus 171 207 so therefore Q will be 207 divided by 138 and after solving we will get 3 by 2 and this value of Q we can put any of the equations equation 1 or equation 2 or these two equations which we got from the equation number 1 and equation number 2. Let's say I have decided to put Q equals to 3 by 2 in equation number 2. So 10 into Q is 3 by 2 plus 6 into P equals to 19. So this will be calculated to 30 by 2 plus 6P equals to 19. 30 by 2 is 15. So 15 plus 6p equals to 19 and this 15 will go to right hand side to become negative 15 so this will be 6p equals to 19 minus 15 which will give me 19 minus 15 equals to 4 so therefore p equals to 4 by 6 so after cancelling them we will get 2 by 3 so we already have Q equals to 3 by 2 and now we got P equals to 2 by 3 but our aim is not to find values for Q and P but we have to find values for X and Y as we know we have taken Q for 1 by Y and P for 1 by X but Q is 3 by 2 so 1 by Y becomes 3 by 2 and P is 1 by X so 1 by X becomes 2 by 3 so from this we can say that y is 2 by 3 and from this we can say x is 3 by 2. So finally we got the values for x and y. So in this session equations were given in x and y but they were not linear. So we have converted them into p and q they become linear and we have solved them with whatever options we had in method. So we have selected elimination method. And by that we got values for P and Q and from them we got X and Y. The complete course for grade 10th CBSE Math is available in pendrive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.